Hello everyone and welcome to Optimal Training Group. In today's video, I am going to be breaking down how this works. How here we're, we're grabbing users from our SharePoint group and then we're kind of parsing through um, the group just to grab the email. But I want to break this down because I did this in our last video, which was the, our travel request application, um, where I was showing you how to grab the email, but I didn't really break this down. Now, in the past, I have used, and let me show that to you really quick. I've used the JSON parse op data operation, and I personally found it a pain to use. So here's our JSON parse, and in the content, you will provide the JSON that's, re that's returned from here. You will provide that in here, but you would have to know, um, you would have to put in the, J, the the schema of what your JSON will look like, and you'd have to know that beforehand. And this was kind of a pain because you have to make sure you have to be precise and, and get it right. Now, though it's 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 great to use, is it's not really practical, at least not for me. So that's why this here is easier. Is just to hear what I'm doing right here. I'm using the HTTP request. And here is the API and the URI. And I'm just grabbing all of the users and all their data. And part of that data that, that's included is the um, the email. And it returns this, the data from this becomes an array. And then I provide that array here. Now let's go break this down some more. So let me go run this really quick. So here is, here it is here. See, it's, it's a success. I grabbed this, right? So let me come in here and let me grab this if I haven't already. I'm gonna take it to our, oh, I already did it already. Okay, so here is, let me bring this down some. Okay. So here is our, here's our JSON. Here's the results from, um, from our HTTP request. And this is the output of it. You know, so as you can see, it returns for us an array. And inside of our array, we have these two objects. And within these two objects, um, we have these properties and their values. And the property that we're looking for is this right here, email. And email. And so we have this array of objects and it can be any number of objects, but all we want is just the email from each of those objects. So if we go back to our Power Automate, It returns that and then we are drilling down to just the results because we want the results and that result is just an array. So we're saying D dot results. And as you can see the results, for those of you who are developers, you know that these braces indicate that this is an array. And then these, I'm sorry, not braces, these brackets indicate that this is an array. And within that array, we have these braces which indicate this it's we're dealing with um objects you know and this is the closing of the array and within this array we have these two objects this is one object and then the second object and the object is just a, a, a it has a values of key value pairs so this is a key this is the value key value key value key value and the key b1 is email as i explained so let me go back. Let's go back. So now once we grab that, we're using, this is the select. And the select data operation is used to transform the shape of an array, you know? So, and what I mean by transform is it just involves, you know, picking specific pieces of information from each item in the array. Like I just, I just showed you. And then we can restructure it and shape in the array. Now, this map right here, all it is, 
is just allows you to define how you want to transform each item in array. So basically what we're doing is just grabbing the, the email. You can do other things in here, but we just want the email. You know, I can concatenate it and probably bring other stuff, but the email is all we need because we need to send our email um, to, the, to those specific users in that SharePoint group. And this, this makes it really, really simple, efficient, easy, other than using the JSON parsing. Now, the JSON parsing action, it has its, its place, but when it comes to doing what we're doing, as far as picking something out, out of a object of arrays, this is much easier to deal with um, and much simpler. And then once I have the emails, I can just, if what I'm doing here, as I explained in the last video, is I am just, I'm joining it and just concatenate it, surrounding it with um, quotes. So that way, when I use it in my HTTP request down here, it'll give me no problems because it's also in a JSON as well. Um, so just to recap, this is a HTTP request, which I'm using to get data from my, um, I'm using it to get the users from this SharePoint group called Senior Manager. And the data that is brought back from that Senior Manager is it's, it brings back a bunch of data, as you can see here. All this is the data from the users. ID, login name, title, email. And what, we, what we're looking for is just the email. I use the select to drill down into that array, the results array and I grab just the property that I need and its value, so the email. And then once I have that email, once it, it loops through and I grab that email, then I concatenate it. It concatenates all the emails together. And let me show that to you actually. It concatenates all the emails together so that then I can use that in my HTTP quest email um, to send an email to everybody in that group. You know, so it looks like this. You know, so once I grab the email, see, it, 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 and that select always returns an array. Remember that it always returns an array. And then what I do with that concat and join is I surround each email with the quotes, concatenate with, and I, I join it with the uh, uh, colon. So that way, when I send my email, See how it puts everything? That's how I send it. And it sends the, it sends the email. Um, and so that's how that works. Now, I hope that made sense. Please like and share the video. Um, and if you have any questions, um, please leave your comments below. Appreciate any feedback. Thank you. Bye.